but not necessarily in the same order. And some of them are facing the center while some of them are facing away from the center. Some people inward and some of them are outward. Eight persons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And G sits second to the right of B. B faces the center clearly given. As information clearly specified about this B, B is facing the center, B is here. And G sits second to the right of B, G must be here. And next one, F sits third to the right of G. As F is seated third to the right of G, how many possibilities we have? One, two, three, F can be here. And if, he, if F is to the immediate left hand side of B, then G must be away from the center. Then what is the other possibility we have? Then, now the second possibility, eight persons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now this B is facing the center. And next one, G sits the second to the right of B, G is here. And if G is facing towards the center, then F sits out to the right of G, one, two, three, F must be here. How many possibilities we have? We have some two possibilities. Then next one, F sits out to the right of G. C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H. As C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H, C is here, H is here. As C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H, if C is here, H can be here. Or if C is here, H can be here. There are two possibilities in the second case. C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H. H is not an immediate neighbor of B, as H is not an immediate neighbor of B, H cannot be here. Now in this case also we are having only one possible. And H is not an immediate neighbor of B. Next one, <coughs> C faces the same direction as G. Now in the first case G is facing away from the center, C is also away from the center. And in the second case G is facing the center, C is also facing the center. C faces the same direction as G. And A sits to the immediate left of D. A is to the immediate left of D. And C and D must be in this one only. A is to the immediate left of D. If A is here, D is here. Or if D is here, A will be here. Then who is the person left here? E is the person left or E must be at this place. And A is an immediate. A is to the immediate left of D. A and D. Or A and D. And the person B, E must be here. A sits to the immediate left of D. Neither A nor D is an immediate neighbor of B. Neither A not D is an immediate neighbor of B. In the second case, either A or D is an immediate neighbor of B. Hence, this case is completely ruled out. Now, we are left with only the first one. And neither A nor D is an immediate neighbor of B. Immediate neighbors of D face the same direction. Now, immediate neighbors of D are facing the same direction. Next one. E sits second to the left of A. As E is seated second to the left of A, hence, where should this A? A must be adjacent to this G. A is here. E sits second to the left of A, hence A must be facing towards the center. If A is facing towards the center, and D must be here, as D is here, A sits to the immediate left of D, hence D must also be towards the center. Then, then C and G are facing the same direction here. We are taking that immediate neighbors of D face the same direction. Immediate neighbors of D, that is A and H are facing the same direction, H is also facing towards the center. E sits second to the left of A, and immediate neighbors of B face opposite. Immediate neighbors of B, E and F are facing opposite here. F faces the same direction as A. Now A is facing towards the center, F is also facing towards the center. And E and F, immediate neighbors of B face opposite direction, hence E and F opposite. F is towards the center, E will be away from the center. Done with this? This is how these five, eight persons are seated around this circular table. And how many are facing towards the center? One, two, three, four, four persons are facing towards the center, isn't it? And the remaining are away from the center. Four or five, there are five persons facing the center, and three are away from the center. This is about question number 66 to 70. <coughs> then 71 to 75. <coughs> Now question number 71 to 75, they are based on coded inequalities. First write down this arrangement here. Once we have done with this one, then let us start working question number 71 to 75. Now in this 71 to 75, the relation between L and R. L and R, L is here, R is here. Now tell me which letter is common between these two, K is common. As K is common here, now between R and K there is only lesser than it is not equals to. 
and the first conclusion is straight away ruled out. Are you getting this one or not? Because here there is an equals to that is fine, but as between R and K, we are not having equals to. Hence, equal to does not, okay, true. Hence, first one is false. Then coming to the second M and S. M is here and S is here. Between these two, which is common here, K is common. Now, K greater than S from the second one, and K less than or equals to M, that is M greater than or equals to K. Now, between M and S, greater than is true. And sum greater than S is definitely true, that is choice 2. Hence, question number 71, it is choice 2 is the answer. And choice 2, it is given in choice 4. Only 2 is to choice 4. 71. Then, question number 72. Now, in this 72, the relation between D and B. Now, B is here, D is here. Forget about this equals to B greater than or equals to D, which implies that D less than or equals to B is definitely true. Then coming to the next one, P and M. Now between P and M, which symbol is common here? Greater than is common. Hence, P greater than M is also true. Hence, both the conclusions true. Choice 2. Question number 72, it is choice 2. Then coming to 73, the relation between A and E. Now between A and E, less than is the element which is common here. A less than E. E greater than A is also true. And next one, A less than or equals to C between C and A. C greater than or equals to A is given. If C greater than or equals to A, A less than or equals to C is also true. Hence, both 1 and 2, both 1 and 2, that is choice 4. 73, choice 4. Isn't it? Then 74, the relation between M and L. M is here, L is here, the letter which is common is K is common. K less than or equals to M. And K greater than or equals to L means L less than or equals to K. Now, L less than or equals to M is to M greater than or equals to L is to. Now, the relation between R and S. Now, which letter is common here between R and S? Again, common. R less than K. K greater than M. Less than, greater than two opposite symbols. This is false. And so, only conclusion 1 is true. Choice 4. 74, choice 4. Then, 75. The relation between M and B. Now, P and M and B. B greater than or equals to M. That means M is either lesser than or equals to B. Either it is lesser than the first one or it is equals to the second one. Hence, either one or two, that is choice three. 75, choice three is the answer. Then question number 76 to 80. It is based on input and output. Now in this input and output, tell me what is the information we have. Now in total, how many elements are there in the input? One, two, four, five, six. And 12, we have some 12 elements. And which step has been declared as a final output here? Step 6. That means 12 elements are there, only 6 steps are there. That means in each step, exactly one element has been arranged. Isn't it? In each step, exactly one element. Then what is the final logic here? Now in the final logic, C, D, P, S, W, Y. That means all the words are arranged in the alphabetical order. Then the numbers 12, 45, 55, 67, 8, 78, 92. Again, the numbers are arranged in the ascending order. Isn't it? And letters in the alphabetical order, words in the alphabetical order, and the numbers in the ascending order. Then we, we need to find out the pattern followed in this one. The highest word arranged at the first place, and the least number arranged at the last place. From there onwards, and the word shifted to the next place, and the previous word arranged at the first place. And here, the next term to 1245 arranged at the last place. And in step 3, work is shifted to the next place and secure the previous word is coming to this one. And again, after this 45, 55 is going to that place. And this is how these numbers and the words were arranged in this. And again, <coughs> now in this one, in the input, if you observe here, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 elements are there. As 12 elements are there, as tell me what is your answer here? Then, as all the questions are based on a single input, hence we have to work out this one, all the questions by writing all the different steps. Then, as this is about question number 76 to 80. So, is there a 76 to 80? Then, 81 to 85. 81 to 85. Now tell me what is the information here? Now in this 81 to 85, how many people are there? There are some 8 people. 
PQRS, TUV, and W live on eight different floors of a floor building. Eight persons are living on eight different floors of a building. No. Eight seven six eight seven six five four three two and one. Now just arrangement is given. There is no other parameter added to this one. Hence we need to identify who is staying on which floor. Now eight floors, eight seven six five four three two and one are the floors we have. Then condition number one. Yes, tell me what is condition number one here? Now in this condition number one. And T lives on floor number four. T lives on floor number four. T is here. T lives on floor number four. Only two people between T and Q. As only two people between T and Q, Q can be either on the first floor or Q can be on the seventh floor. There are two possibilities in this one. W lives immediately above you. W is immediately above you. And W lives on an even number floor. W lives on an even number floor. W cannot be on the second floor. W cannot be on the fourth floor. Hence, W can be either on the sixth floor or on the eighth floor. And coming to this one, now in this case, W can be on the second floor and cannot be on the eighth floor, can be on the sixth floor. Hence, there are two possibilities in each of this one. W lives immediately above you. W lives on an even number floor. Only one person between R and P. Now, in between R and P, P lives above R. Now, between P and R, there must be exactly one person. And P lives on an odd number floor. As P lives on an odd number floor, now in the first case, P cannot be on the first floor, P cannot be on the second floor, and the third floor. Hence, P can be either on the seventh floor or on the fifth floor. There are two possibilities. And in the second case, P can be either on the third floor, fifth floor. Here, now with respect to P and R, in this case, P can be either 3 or 7, 3, 7. And in the second case, the possibility of this P is 3 or 5, 3, 5. And P lives on an odd number floor. Only one person lives between V and S. And S lives above V. Only one person between V and S. And S lives above V. Hence S blank and V. Again, this S and V must be like this. Isn't it? And so as of now, there is no definite information here. Then we have to write on the possibilities. Now we are writing this W. Either 6 or 8. Now W is here. Then U will be here. If W and U were like this, now S and V must be alter, uh, alternate. P and R is also alternate, which is not possible, isn't it? Hence, W and U cannot be on the sixth one. As W and U cannot be on the sixth one, then W and U must be, W and U must be on the eighth floor. Now, if you take W is on the eighth floor here, W and U, then we should have two alternate, P and R, at the same time, S and V. This is also not possible. This case is completely ruled out. Then coming to this one, now here W can be either on the sixth or the second floor. If you take W and U like this, then again between S and V and P and R, there must be alternate, which is not possible. Hence, this W on the sixth floor is also ruled out. Finally, we are left with only W on the second floor and U is here. Now, in between these two, now P lives on the, either on the third or the fifth floor. Either P lives on third P, third floor is ruled out. Hence, P must be fifth floor. If P is fifth floor, then R must be on the third floor. And the persons left are S and V. S is on the seventh floor and V is on the sixth floor. Then, as what is the arrangement we have? SQ, VP, TR, W and U is the order in which these eight persons are staying on eight different floors of this building. This is about question number 81 to 85. <coughs> Clear now? Yes, write down this one. Then let us start working question number 86 to 90. Eighty-six to ninety. Now in this question number eighty-six to ninety, tell me what is the information we have. Now they are based on eighty-six to ninety syllogisms. Now conclusions. Decide which of the given conclusions logically follows. And condition number one: all triangles are gases, and all these triangles are what gases, and all gases are solids. All triangles are gases, all gases are solid, and some of the solids are cones, some solids are cones. Then first one, no solid is a triangle. No solid is a triangle, that is false. And second, all cones are gases is a possibility. Now this entire cone we can able to write like this. 
or all the statements are affirmative, negative conclusion cannot be drawn, and first one is straight ever ruled out, and at the same time, the second one is a possibility. And if the statements are affirmative for a possibility, you can write it as a single diagram. That is triangle equals to gas equals to solid equals to cone. All the remaining comes under this category. And so what is your answer here? Only two follow. Without drawing the diagram, we can able to finalize this one, isn't it? Because the first one is negative, cannot be, cannot be true. And the second one is what possibility? All the possibilities are always true. And so only two is the answer, so is three, it is fine. Then question number 86. All sounds are voices. All these sounds are what? All these sounds are voices. And no voice is a noise. No voice is a noise means no intersection between voice and a noise. All beats are noises. All these beats are what? All beats are noises. And first one, no beat is a sound, definitely true. And second, no noise is a sound, this is also true. As both these two are negative conclusions to make them false. Now we need to draw the complementary here. No beat is a sound means beat and sound should be written like this. Is it possible to write beat and sound like this? No. If you write beat like this, all beats are what? Noise. All beats are noise, then no noise is a no noise is a voice, and that statement will be invalid. Alternate diagram cannot be drawn, this will be true forever. Then coming to the second one, no noise is a sound. Noise and sound means now some of the noises are sound. Is it possible to draw like this? No. And so alternate diagram cannot be done. Previous conclusion will be true forever. And so what is your answer here? Both the conclusions are true. Both one and two, that is choice four. 87 choice four. Then coming to question number 88. Now in this 88, some of the wheels or tires can be written like this, wheel and tire. Some wheels or tires. All these tires are brake, all tires are brake. And all brakes are clutches. All these brakes are clutches. Now with the help of this one, the first one, first one is a possibility, we can make it as possible. All brakes are tires, all brakes are tires is false. Second is false. And for the first one, all brakes are wheels is a possibility. Now tell me whether we can able to write like this or not. Now I can able to write my wheels like this. If I write wheels like this, all brakes are wheels is possible. Or as all the statements are affirmative, you can write as a single diagram for a possibility. Hence only conclusion of one is two, so I is four. 88 it is choice for. Then question number 89. Now in this 89, some of the wheels are tires. Some wheels are tires can be written like this, wheel and tire. Some wheels are tires. All tires are brakes. All these tires are brakes. And all brakes are clutches. All these brakes are clutches. And some wheels are clutches, definitely true. All tires are clutches is also true. Both the conclusions which are true, they are affirmative conclusions. They will be true forever, so I is fine. 89, so I is fine. Then coming to question number 90, some spectacles are lenses. Now these are the spectacles which are lenses and some of the lenses are glares. And first one, no glare is a spectacle, definitely true. And second, some spectacles are glares. Some spectacles are glares is false. As no glare is a spectacle is true, it is a negative conclusion. As a negative conclusion is true, to make this one false, now we need to draw its complementary. That is some of the glares are spectacle. That means spectacle and glare are intersecting. And so alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion false. After making the previous conclusion false, then we need to check out the second conclusion affirmative that was false in the basic diagram has become true or not. And the second one, some spectacles are glare, so now it has become true. When the first one is true, second is false. When the first is false, second is true. Hence between these two, only one must be true. And which is definitely true? true. We are not sure about this one. Hence, it is the case of either one or two, choice three. Question number 90, choice three. Then 91. Now, question numbers 91 to 95. There are 10 people seated in two parallel rows containing five people each in such a way that there is an equal distance distance between the adjacent persons in row one. Who are the persons in row one here? P, Q, R, S, and T and all of them are facing north. Now, there are, how many persons are there? Five persons in row one and five persons in row two. These are the five, and these are the five persons in row two. Now in row one, P, Q, R, S, and T, and all these persons are facing towards north, this is row one. And in the second row, A, B, C, D, and E, all the persons, they are facing towards south, and they belong to row number two. And each one of them, each person also works for a different company. One more parameter is added. What is the parameter we have? And the company in which they are working in. 
and first one p sits at one of the extreme ends of the line as p sits at one of the extreme ends of the line then tell me how many possibilities we have p can be at the either the left extreme or p can be at the right extreme isn't it and so there are two possibilities in this one 1 2 3 4 5 it also 1 2 3 4 5 now p is at an extreme and faces one of the immediate neighbors of p now this p is facing one of the immediate neighbors of p and a is here now in this one also a must be here clear now and faces one of the immediate neighbors of a only one person sits between a and the one working for panasonic how many persons are in between a and panasonic there must be exactly one and the one who is working in panasonic must be here in the first case and in the second case the one who is working in panasonic must be here there is only one person between a and the one who is working for panasonic a faces one of the immediate neighbors of r as a is facing one of the immediate neighbors of r hence a faces one of the immediate neighbors of r means hence in the first case r must be here here in the second case a is facing one of the immediate neighbors of r r must be here and next one and the person working for philips the person is working for philips sits to the immediate right of r and philips is to the immediate right of r hence philips is here and in the second case also philips must be in between p and r isn't it and philips and c and b <coughs> c and b are immediate neighbors of each other as c and b are immediate neighbors of each other and c faces the one who is working for canon now c and b are immediate neighbors of each other and c is working for canon isn't it hence c can be either here or c can be here there are two possibilities isn't it as c can be here or here in both the cases b must be at this place only are you getting this point or not because c and b are adjacent to each other and c is facing the person who is working in canon hence either r can be works in canon or the person at the right extreme can works in canon and again coming to this one and c and b are adjacent to each other here as c and b are adjacent to each other and c and b and c and b are adjacent to each other at the same time now this c is opposite the person who is working in canon isn't it and see here we are having more possibilities because if c is here opposite to r then r works in canon or if c is here the adjacent to that person is working in canon isn't it or c can be here then the adjacent person can be b isn't it and c and b c and b are immediate neighbors of each other c faces the one who is working for canon and the one who is working for higher is an immediate neighbor of b higher is an immediate neighbor of b either this person or this person is an immediate neighbor of b higher next one higher is an immediate neighbor of b as a higher is an immediate neighbor of b now b cannot be at this extreme end in the second case and c does not work for higher and the one working for a higher is an immediate neighbor of b and c does not work for higher as c does not work for higher here that means b and c are adjacent to each other if c is here higher must be at this place or if c is here higher must be here isn't it hence the one who is working in higher and c must be in the alternate places on either side of this b and similarly here also and the one who is working for and if c is here and c is here c cannot be at the right extreme why c cannot be at the right extreme because if c is here and b is an immediate neighbor of this one isn't it as b will be here if b is here b is working in and immediate neighbor of b is canon immediate neighbor of b is canon i a chance undi kada hence the middle one is there is, there is a possibility and the one working for higher is an immediate neighbor of b and c does not work for higher c does not work for higher and next one q sits exactly between s and the one who is working for sony now q sits exactly between s and the one who is working for sony now tell me whether q can be at this place or not if q is here q sits exactly between s and the one that means one of the immediate neighbors of q must be s which is not possible hence q cannot be here and now q sits exactly between s and the one who is working for sony as q is here then s is here and now this r must be working for sony if r is working for sony and c cannot be at this place why c cannot be at this place because c is opposite to higher as c is opposite to higher a canon now c is here as c is here this person is the one who is working for canon now c and higher are adjacent to each other and the one who is working in higher must be in between a and b isn't it then 
the one working for higher is an immediate neighbor of B, C does not work for higher. Q sits be, be exactly between S and the one who is working for Sony. Next one. Only one person between D and the one who is working for higher. D and the one who is working for higher, there must be exactly one. Hence, A, B, C, D and this person is E. And only one person between D and the one who works for higher. And D does not work for Hitachi. D is not Hitachi. The one working for Samsung sits to the immediate left of T. And Samsung is to the immediate left of T, hence T is here. If T is here, this P must work in Samsung. Samsung is to the immediate left of T. The one who is working for HP and the one working for Dell are facing each other. HP and Dell are facing opposite to each other, hence it is none other than A and T. The one who, are, who is facing HP is facing Seoul. Hence, this A is working in HP and is facing Seoul. And this person is the one who is working for Dell. And D is not working in. D does not work for Hitachi. And so who works for Hitachi here? C works for Hitachi. If C works for Hitachi, and the company which is left over is Timex. Now this D works in Timex. Clear? Now this is about these 10 persons. 5 in one row and 5 in the other row and each one of them is working in a different company as well. <coughs> 91 to 95. First write down this one then let us start question numbers 96 to 100. Now question numbers 96 to 100 what is the information we have? Presence of five different companies, countries will be visiting India to participate in the global seminar on pollution. Vladimir Putin, President of Russia, cannot speak English or Zonka. While Alchujan Absanjo, President of Nigeria, is conversant in both Dutch and Zonka. Isn't it? Now that person is good in both Zonka and Dutch. Next one, Jiang Jemin, the president of China, can speak Mandarin and English. Queen Margaret II of Denmark and President Joseph Estrada of Philippines can speak English and either Zonka or Dutch, though not necessarily in the same order. Next one, each one of them speaks exactly two of the four languages. Each one of them is speaking exactly two languages. Then question numbers 96 to 100, done with this one? Completed. Then, first let us write down this one. Now, it comes under how many parameters? It comes under distribution. Distribution, how many parameters? Two parameters or a single parameter? Single parameter. Person is one, and these persons, a different language is given. And so, it comes under a single parameter. Hence, we need to draw which diagram? Grid method, isn't it? Hence, whenever it is based on a single, single case, hence it must be under grid method only, isn't it? Yes, tell me who are the persons here? Then participate in the global seminar on pollution, Vladimir Putin. Now this Putin and this Putin is the president of what? President of Russia. And next one. And who are the remaining people we have? And president of Russia cannot speak these two. And Obsanjo, now this Obsanjo, and who is the president of Nigeria? And next one, Jiang Zemin. Now this Zemin is the president of China. And the next one, and Mandarin and English, Queen Magrath. Now this Queen Magrath, Queen Magrath of Denmark, and President Joseph Estrida of Philippines. Now these are the persons here. Now how many languages we have? We have only four or five languages. Four languages given has four languages. What are those four? One is English. Yes, come out with the language here. English is one. Next. Dutch. English, Dutch. Mang. Mangren. And? And what is the other we have? Jonka. Now Jonka is the other language. Now this is what the information we have. Five persons. These five persons are and each one of them are can speak exactly two languages. Now the first information, president of five different companies can speak on pollution and Vladimir Putin, Russia, cannot speak English and Zonka. As this person cannot speak English and Zonka, 
and each one of these persons exactly two out of the out of these four and this person putin must be good in dutch and mandarin next one president of russia and jonkum and well also is an option of president of nigeria is conversant in both dutch and jonka dutch and jonka these two are isn't it and the remaining two must be false and false then what is the other information we have and jiang jemin president of china can speak mandarin and english mandarin and what is the next one we have and english english and the remaining two must be false and mandarin and queen margaret of denmark and president joseph estate of philippines can speak english now these two persons are speaking english and between the remaining english and either jonka or dutch though not necessarily in the same order now this person is dutch if this person can able to speak dutch then this person must be jonka or if this person is jonka and this person must be dutch and the remaining must be false isn't it and so between these two only one must be by these presidents then coming to question number 96 now in this 96 which of the following can act as an interpreter when jiang jemin and president of nigeria wish to confer and nigeria and jiang jemin now if these two persons in order to make these two persons understand each other then tell me who is the person that is required only president of president putin now president putin now sir putin can able to speak mandarin and so jemin and putin will speak in mandarin and again that putin will speak in dutch with opsanjo isn't it are you following this one or not hence now this jemin can be acted as and putin can be acted as an interpreter between these two and next one either queen margaret or joseph either between these two because any one of the three executives is given hence we need to check out for the remaining next one either queen margaret or president joseph now between these two jiang jemin and nigeria now between these two see here queen now this queen can able to speak english and queen and jemin isn't it these two persons are speaking in english then again this jemin is good in what jiang jemin and queen now if you take this queen is good at english and the other or if you take for example now this queen now this queen can able to speak either in jonka or dutch if this person is speaking in dutch then this person can able to speak with whom of sanjo after with of sanjo then there must be common between these two is it happens here as now either queen margaret now queen margaret and which is jemin and nigeria interpreted between jiang jemin and nigeria jiang jemin and nigeria now this queen now queen can able to speak in which language english english with jemin then the english is common and again after learning in english after speaking with jemin in english now this same person queen can able to speak with of sanjo in the jonka there is a possibility or not hence this person can able to act and again in the case of estrada also estrada and jemin will speak in english and after speaking in english this estrada and can speak either jonka or dutch if this person is jonka then this person can able to interpret with of sanjo hence between these two only one one person is speaking this jonka hence what is the answer here one or either two or three and pre president putin or this one hence what is the answer any one of the above that is choice for isn't it choice for is the answer then question number 97 now in this 97 which of the following cannot cannot converse without an interpreter and russia and philippines now tell me whether these two persons can discuss with each other or not russia and philippines is there any element which is common here or russia and philippines there is no if as there is a language which is common between these two isn't it sorry russia and philippines estrada and estrada and no language is common and these two persons cannot cannot interpret with each other without and cannot talk with each other without an interpreter 
then second queen margaret and putin queen margaret and putin now putin is good in dutch and margaret but his queen is queen is queen can be good in dutch isn't it if queen speaks dutch here then these two persons can able to do in this and if this queen is in dutch then this estrada will be in jonka and if this estrada is jonka and of sanjo and of sanjo and jiang zemin and of sanjo and jiang zemin there is no language which is common here and three then what is your answer here either one or two and three either one or two and three that is choice for 97 Russia and Philippines; these two persons cannot interpret without an interpreter. We cannot talk without an interpreter. And between two and three, only one person. Why? Because here this Obsanja can able to speak either Jonka or Dutch, isn't it? Next one, 98. Now in this question number 98, besides Jiang Zemin, who can converse with President Putin without an interpreter? And that means Putin is good in Dutch and Madrid. Then who is the other person who is good at Dutch and Madrid here? Obsanja is good, and the next one is Jemin is good in Madrid, isn't it? And besides Jemin, and who can able to discuss with Putin here? Yes, Obsanja can able to talk with him, isn't it? Obsanja, and it is given in choice four. And at the same time, both three and four is there. Now we need to discuss about three. Either Queen Margaret or Joseph Estrada. Yes. Why? Because now this person Putin is good between these two. Is good in Dutch. Hence, between these two persons, only one person can able to speak Dutch. And who is that person? We do not know. Hence, either Queen or Estrada. Hence, what is your answer here? Both three and four. It is choice five. Ninety-eight. It is choice five. Then question number ninety-nine. And of the languages spoken at this global seminar, which are the two least common. Two least common means now this English is spoken by three different people and Dutch is again spoken by three different people and Mandarin only two persons and Dutch and Jonka is only two. Hence Mandarin and Jonka that is choice for 99 choice for. Then question number 100. If a president of a sixth country is brought into brought into be understood by the maximum number of the original five maximum. Of the original five, hence this person must be good in English and at the same time Dutch, because these are the two languages wherein most number of people can able to understand. Hence English and Dutch, that is choice one. Done with this. Now this is about question numbers 96 to 100. As this is about paper number 250. Any doubts in this one? Number series. Number series. Who knows? As question numbers, please. Thirty-one and thirty-two. Now question number thirty-one and thirty-two. Tell me what is your answer here. Question number thirty-one. Now the numbers are in the decreasing order. Hence, we need to go in the reverse order. First, let us go through the directions ones. In the following number series, only one number is wrong. The wrong number is correct. The series get established by following a certain rule. Below the series, a number is given, followed by A, B, C, D, and F, and you have to complete the series following the same rule as that of the earlier one. Now, in question number thirty-one, is two four one two four eight two four. That means the number is multiplied with how much into two in the reverse, isn't it? In the reverse, it is into two. Then here, nine sixty-four and two four one two. Nine sixty-four and two four one two means it has to be multiplied with how much? And it has to be multiplied with two, and two is, and two that is, so we have those nine sixty four into two point five, into two point five. Now this is into two point five, and if this is two and two point five, then next one. What is the next one we have? As two four one two into two point five. Now here it is not eight; it could be eight at this place. Nine sixty-four point eight. On kunda chowda nikra. Nine sixty-four point eight. Osunda kuda. Number less. Now in this one, point is there, but the number is not given, isn't it? Then next one. What is the next one we have? And one ninety-two. This cannot be eight thousand, isn't it? It must be only one ninety-two. 
and if it is 192 from here to here it is in 210 and here to here 38 and 192 38 and 192 it is multiplied with how much 38 and 192 here it is multiplied with into 5 5 was in the into 5 was in the into 4 38 38 76 76 140 the ground into 5 38 into 4 38 divided by 2 to 190 isn't it hence this is 2 2 and this is into 5 again 192 into how much 190 19 into 2 19 into 5 19 into 5 is 964 on a 19 into 5 950 and now the logic is into 2 into 2.5 into 5 and again into 5 and into 2. Then now 1500. Now 1500 divided by 2 is so much. 1500 divided by 2 is 750. And next one 750 into 2. Point. So x into 2.5 is 750. And what should the number here? The number must be 7. And 750 into 5 by 2. Into 5 by 2, ask what? And this number should be multiplied with how much? 750. And after multiplying a number with 2.5, now we need to get 750. X into 5 by 2 equals to 750. And what should the number here? Not 2. Now, if it is 200, 200 into 2.5, that is 500. Next, if it is 300, now 300 into 2.5, this must be 300. On a 300 into 2.5 is so much, and 750. Now, if it is 750, and see here the number must be into 6. 60 into 5. 60 into 5, 